Hello and welcome back. In this video I want to showcase how we can use transitions inside uh, in Vision Studio so we can add a bit more interaction into our prototypes right inside the Envision app. So that's what we want to do. Regarding the application that we were drawing here in the last videos, I just did, did a few changes. I've added this button con uh, component and also a new artboard so that we can use this to uh, add a new location um, inside the application. So what I want to do is uh, add a gesture so that we can start with this artboard, uh, swipe left we would go to this screen, swipe right would go to this one, so swipe up would show the locations and when we click on the button I want to go to this screen. So let's see how we can do that uh, and preview it inside the application, inside the Envision Studio. To create an interaction between two components, we can just click um, on, a, on a certain component that we want and we have this uh, uh, option here, interactions, which you can expand or we can just click on C and use this to link to the artboard that we want to transition to. So we can choose the type of trigger that will uh, trigger the, the transition. So we can choose click here and we can choose one of the built-in transitions or just um, create our, our own custom ones. So let's use this to push, uh, push down. Okay, let's save. Now let's see how, how this will how this will work. So if we click on the play button there, yep, there we go. So we can do the same here. Press C, transition back to the 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 screen that we went from, and just push up. So let's see how this will work. All right, and you can see. It, yeah, and let's see how we can actually customize this. So we can set what's the duration and delay, and we can actually edit the timeline if we want to, so that we can choose the sort of animation that will um, play out uh, in the end, and we can actually control the the curves for all, for this type of uh, animation so we can customize all and for each one of these elements uh, how the the sort of the sort of animation how it will play out so there are a few restrictions for this and I actually want to talk about this in uh, in a more detailed example, but for now I just want to, to give the general overview of this. But I want to go back. I want to go back to this um, to this uh, detail with the, with the transitions uh, on our artboards. I just want to use interaction based on gestures because there's uh, a few interesting triggers here. So we can use, for example. Um, Swipe right, and we can navigate to our artboard too. With the slide right, yeah, let's give it a go. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, let me just use a different color here. Yeah, and. Just let's do slide left, I think. And on this artboard, we're going to use gesture as well. So if we swipe left, I want this to go to artboard one and slide right, I think. I always get these two confused. 
So let me try. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's it. Now let's add another gesture here. We can add, because we can add as many as we want. So we can use um, the swipe up, and we want to go to the hardcore tree. Let's call this slide up. So let's so let's try this. Let's see how we can open this in our mobile application. So I've installed the Envision app for iOS. And if I press this button here, I can generate a QR code. And if I use the scan option in my application, I can scan this code and open up the prototype inside my device and do changes and see it, see it in, in, in real time. The problem is I've upgraded to iOS 12, and as of this moment, uh, the application has been crashing a few times. So I don't know if it's related to that actually, or if it's my device in particular. But this, um, but as of right now, I can't really show you how this works. Um, but I did use it in the past; it, it was working fine. So if I can have this running up uh, in the future, I'll go back to this video and showcase how it works.